Hey friends, welcome back. Now we are going to talk about our project and the features we have used in our project. As I already told you, if you finish this project, then you will be capable of building everything. Whatever you want, you can build easily, you can earn money, you can start your own startup, right? So here, uh, let's talk about the some features we have used in our project. So um, let's uh, let's see what we have. So this is a home page, right? And this page is a statically generated page and it is using a feature of Next.js. Let me show you over here. If you go docs and data fetching and here it is, uh, there are different approach, right? Get a static prop, get a static paths. If you go to get a static props. So here we are using this method to generate this page statically. And here I'm also using a technique, incremental static generation. So whenever a new post gets created, the our static page will be recreated again, right? So it, you can specify some interval of time, like in every 10 seconds, it will recreate a new static page, right? So here, if you go and let me show you if I inspect this thing and here it is, let's go to the network tab and let's reload this. And this page is reloaded, right? If you click uh, and see localhost, so this is the URL uh, 3000. This is a base URL of our application. And you can see every piece of data is visible as it is. And here, no JavaScript is available. This is rendered from the server and this is an statically generated page. So if I create a new post, it takes 10 seconds to revalidate every second, uh, everything and then recreate uh, the page again, right? So this is an statically generated page. This is the home page. You can also use the approach uh, server side rendered over here. That is also fine. It depends. Uh, uh, it, it depends on the data, right? If data is changing very fast, if you have thousands of users and every second new post is getting create, then in that case, you can definitely go with server side render. That is totally fine. And you have to optimize things on the client side. And if you are the only user and your friends and some of the users who is creating news in this website, then definitely you can do the static generation. And every time you add a new content, it creates a HTML page and uh, then that page will be served over here. Okay, so this is a statically generated page. Let me show you how it works. If I go to the create button and I uh, let's find a, a news over here. So in the, okay here, let's pick this one. Um, save image we need image also no oh, so i'm saving it no copyright right so it's just for the tutorial for the education purpose and we'll go over here uh, add it and let's go over here choose uh, some text Here right now I'm using some kind of uh, uh, like voice processing uh, software and because of that my system is getting uh, slow so that was totally fine here's the content over here choose a file choose this image open this is a preview of the image let's submit and post created successfully let's go to the news x if you go down and you see uh, the, yeah, so this is running right now on the dev server and that's the reason you don't have to wait 10 seconds to come this post right? Click on this view more and you can see this post right absolutely fine So this is a server side rendered page not a statically generated page and the reason behind this is uh, We don't want for every news to create a HTML file, right? I want uh, this page to be generated dynamically on the server and then serve and this is totally fine with SEO because this page is uh, this page has HTML content if you go and again do the inspect go to the network tab and let's reload okay here you see uh, click on this and you can see the content is available right so this is a server side rendered page SEO friendly and web crawler easily identify this page and will be helpful for the uh, ranking of this page in the Google, right? So this is a server side rendered page. So you have seen statically generated page. You have seen server side render page. Now we have some pages also like client side render. If you go to this create page, this page is client side rendered. If you go and inspect and go to the network tab and let's reload this thing. If you go to the, click on this create page and you see uh, there is nothing. 
there is something like uh, please login because there is no javascript available and this part like uh, create new post title body is rendered from the client side it is not rendered from the server side that's the reason you're saying please login instead of this uh, content right so this is created on the client side and this upper header is you can see the logged in users salim ali and news x and then sign out create but here you see welcome guest news sign up because this page has no control because this page has no javascript it cannot do the javascript logic and find out the user is authenticated or not that's the reason you are going to see this page right so if you will be logged out then you're going to see this page same okay let's do log out and yeah so here we you are log in please log in if i go and click on this uh, sign in button like uh, yeah let you can also visit this page so this is the page uh, if user wants to create a new account let's go to the sign up this page is a uh, server side render right now so here if you go and say arjun @gmail.com sign in email or order is registered okay arjun kapoor no uh, account created now everything is happening on the client side because uh, it's already done server side part is done now it's client side uh, navigation is happening so it will be very fast uh, on the sign in and here is the result so everything is happening on the client side because when we hit this url then only it makes the server side render right otherwise client side take care of everything your process will be fast or smooth and you are going to enjoy this let's click on this in arjun and here you see uh, this is the server side render page as i told you for a user profile it's very important to have the server side render because uh, we don't want to show you a statically generated page right every user wants to see its own page if you go and inspect and go to the network tab clear it reload and here see profile and preview so you can see uh, the arjun is their contact for content writing so this part is server side rendered and this is a user profile but again the header is there is client side approach client is our client, client is identifying the user login or not because that is not important for us right this is the client side rendering so this is it for this video in the next video we will be doing our setup for the project